Gurunin sir, I am uh, Purn Chinder, I am from E3 EC department 002 plus and as a part of uh, uh, internal assignment of a pattern recogni recognition machine learning course, I would like to uh, do, uh, I, I did it, I have done my uh, machine learning mini project on the topic of customer segmentation using k-means clustering. Uh, and, and my topic is uh, customer segmentation with k-means clustering using python we all know that uh, clustering uh, clustering it is an unsupervised uh, learning algorithm uh, with k-means and uh, uh, and my uh, assignment guide is uh, Masuren sir uh, student professor department of pc and uh, I would like to be cover these uh, topics like intro and requirements and I, I will explain the technical terms means without knowing the technical terms that are used in our code it's uh, meaningless and also I would like to explain uh, machine learning code and, and conclusion and references and resources and uh, a customer segmentation means uh, uh, like in the modern era means like in the modern technical world uh, it's a full of competition right in the market and business so in the market or any business with full of uh, customers uh, with a full of competition and the customers are increasing uh, and also uh, products also increasing so in order to do our business we have to advertise our products so uh, as a as a customers are increasing we are we are facing a challenge to advertise a product so in the times the machine learning con algorithms will help uh, will help us you uh, to uh, target advertising means we also know that uh, uh, target advertising to sell uh, the products like based on the searches and based on the customer behaviors so in order to know that the customers behavior so we use a machine learning algorithms and um, we have to like we have to segment means we have to divide the customers into groups with a similar similar mentalities and similar behaviors like the process of segmenting the customers with a similar behavior and into the same segment with a different patterns like different purchasing patterns and different spending patterns uh, into different segments is called customer segmentation and you know in this customer segmentation we are using a python programming means uh, like we also know that we, the, with the help of a python programming we will do uh, we will do data science and machine learning projects and ai based projects all those things because it's a flexible language and it's also it's a, the python programming is will use it to train the to, will use it to apply the apply onto the data set so the use of customer segmentation is a uh, like like it's it's a it's to need the cat means the companies need to cater the the requirements of a, com a customer so it's it's like a uh, customer segmentation like customer segmentation is like it will be done with the data mining we also know the data mining like uh, mining the data means like exploring the data means we have the data so we have to divide we have to analyze and customer segmentation is on one of the application it's one of the application the data mining which help us to segment the customers means we have to divide the customers into the similar clusters clusters means like similarity based one and with the we are using k means okay k nearest neighbor not nearest sorry k k means okay and the clustering is uh, comes under the super unsupervised learning algorithm so it's like uh, uh, find the clusters on the data uh, with the unlabeled data one and um, k means cluster means is the importance and simplest algorithm we also know this is the simplest algorithm of the clustering based on the partition of uh, sensitive like uh, centroid positions and uh, here centroids are the like number of k number of uh, groups okay and the centroids are uh, fine by elbow method which will be discussed in this with the uh, uh, coming minutes 
and uh, and also Euclidean distance data between these are all those things that we I will explain in the code itself and uh, coming to the requirements we have to do for uh, we have to do machine learning projects like uh, like this one we require a desktop or a laptop with a like we all know this and also proper internet connection Google Colab means Google Colab is a website or it's an uh, uh, like a platform to do the machine learning projects and uh, because it will require a large amount of uh, like that and there's a Kaggle website for the data set means data set is nothing but it's a the combination of that means we have the data we have to process it we have to process the data with using uh, like mathematical modeling and also the problem statement is here we can see this this is a mall the mall have the data means that they have the customer's data they he, here the customer as the mall have to know the different type of customers that they have um, we have to divide the customers into based on similar groups it depends upon purchasing pattern and spending spending like annual income like all those things we have to uh, we have to divide based on a based on a like spending pattern and uh, here we we can see the workflow means the how we work on the data first the customer data the customer data will be going to data pre-processing and we have to analyze the data like we use optimum number of clusters the optimum number of clusters that are used by WCSS uh, it's a, it's in one of the formula I will explain you later and this is a k-means clustering mathematical means machine learning model and is our goal the primary goal of our is to customer segmentation based on spending patterns and purchasing score and the problem statement is based on the available customer data from the mall we want to mall want the sites above the insights about the customer means mall want the details about like detail about the customer so as a data scientist as i am the data scientist like assuming that as i am a data scientist i have to build a model that that cluster the uh, cluster the uh, customers into different groups so technical terms like customer data means we have to train the data to the machine learning model that the machine learning model that we which we train which we have to be trained and the data pre-processing means selecting the features that feature vectors like assuming that the data having the feature vectors to train the ML model like machine learning model and data analysis means that features that important features what all the features will be there but the important future features the f various features that data set have and optimum number of clusters means the number of clusters means uh, like uh, dividing the customers into five types five types of groups five five groups like let, let assume number of clusters is five means fi the data will be split into five groups and the number of clusters will be decided by the WCSS means we cannot uh, like uh, uh, we cannot randomly cluster that WCSS means within cluster sum of squares it's a it's it's a uh, method I will explain while in the code and came in clustering algorithm is an algorithm that feeding means that will feed the ML model group the data based on similarity spending patterns and visualization means visualization is nothing but uh, like any data or anything that we can visualize it like using the graphs plots and also like graphical data and all those things like that using the plots so visualizing the techniques that all the techniques are put under the data predictions that are all that uh, will be plot to to make better understanding so like here if we have the elbow point graph and scattering plot graph and I will explain this to you later and I, I would like to go to the code so let me open my Google Colab and I have already run the, run sorry I have already run the code so I will explain you uh, I will explain you what are the what is the code meaning and why I return that code so first of all we have to uh, run the dependencies dependencies is nothing but 
like any functions that we have and any libraries means i will i'm importing numpy numpy is nothing but uh, numpy will be used for the python arrays so we will process the data in the form of arrays so because arrays are the most uh, mm, uh, convenient way in the python and also pandas pandas as a data frame so data frame is nothing but the the table and means the structure of the data that we have means we have mostly our data will be like in the excel format right so that excel format means it's an excel format so we have to process the data in the form of in the form of excel so to, to pro pre-process or uh, to process the data we require a data of it that is uh, pandas and we uh, third one we uh, imported matplotlib plot as a peer means uh, mass matplotlib is nothing but a library which is used to plot the graphs to plot the graphs we use uh, this and also seaborn as sns that is a seaborn is also used will be useful for uh, to plot the graphs and to plot the graphical like images graphical images and also to plot the graphs and all sorry to plot the various type of uh, uh, like with using colors and all those things that will be features will be added and also we are we are importing cluster from k means we means we are importing the model mathematical model here we are using this like k means okay k means is a mathematical model right it's a like it's an it's in like uh, uh, algorithm so we are importing that algorithm this algorithm will, will look after all those things and uh, we are uh, like loading the data means we have to load the data from the data frame so here we can see these uh, uh, like sorry so we we have to uh, load the data frame so as a like customer data is in one of the tag like customer data that pd pd is a pandas means pandas is a data frame dot read csv mal, mal customers dot csv means the file should be in a csv mode and also uh, here from here we load the data means we load the data to the machine learning not machine we are loading the data and we are keeping the data as an uh, pandas data frame to for the pre for the processing and we are do using this customer data dot head means uh, we have to check what that data have head file will give the uh, first five rows okay first five rows that column uh, like to get the more information we use customer data dot shape shape will give the number of rows and number of columns here we can see this uh, sorry here we can see this here we have 200 rows and five columns so we can see this uh, like customer id gender age annual income and spending score these are all the five columns and we have 200 rows okay and also uh, we are getting the information means if you want to get another information we use customer dot data dot info means info we are getting these uh, like like all those things that we have we don't have any null values means we don't have any the data doesn't missed anywhere means all the columns and all the rows were filled so, and also the data type means it is an integer object object is nothing but like it's a string right female male it's a string means it will be like object to the python and also uh, like if you want to check if you want to check is there any null null characters or null null sorry uh, sorry where will be okay is there any null values dot sum so it will showing zero means there is the sum of null values the sum of null values will be zero means the the data doesn't miss anywhere so and also and also we are we are getting if you want uh, if you want 
uh, we want only we will plot here we can see this annual income and spending score so we don't require these uh, our customer id gender age we don't require we require only annual income and spending score so we we have to process these two columns only so in order to do, do that we in order to do that we we get the data like x is equals to customer data i lock i lock is at i th means which location 3 4 dot and this is an 3 and 4 this is a third index and fourth index so we all know those uh, python is a zeroth index language so z 3 th 3 and 4 3 and 4 represents like here we can see this um this is a z this is a zero zero the next one the index two the next third and fourth index so 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 we are getting only third index and fourth indexing and we are printing the data see we can see uh, this is an arrays okay so it is a and we, and also wcss means we have to we have the data we have to group the data into clusters so i already said that uh, wcs is like within cluster sum of square will look up will look after the how many clusters we should have so uh, we should have the clusters like so we have to check we have to check for the each each one so we for uh, we have to check for each one uh, which having the lower number of uh, like what we said so we here see for i in range 1 comma 11 means first we are checking for the 10 clusters okay for we are checking for the 10 clusters and for which that 10 cluster which having the high lowest lowest one lowest one lowest value of wcss we will we will take that okay so for i in range uh, 1 comma 11 so k means is equals to k means n cluster 1 uh, means like for i in range n is equals to 1 and uh, like we we do that uh, for loop right we are we are continuing the loop and also uh, we are fitting the data means we have to s select the data such that we don't we, we want to fit the data now in a fashion that general fit not overfitting not low, low fitting like overfitting and uh, low lower fitting like mm, that one so uh, we we will append we will append these k means uh, k means uh, algorithm to an inertia means uh, here this code will append that this uh, for loop will append here means every time updating the values so uh, plot the graph we have to plot the graph c for plotting the graph c bonds we said that c bond is is also uh, used to plot the data plot the data so c bond for for uh, all the 10 items like here c like 0 2 4 6 8 10 so for 10 iterations we have to plot the wcss value so in order to plot the, the plot the elbow point graph this is elbow point graph the uh, number of clusters versus wcss will give the elbow plot graph okay so uh, for i in range 1 comma 11 comma wcss like 1 comma 11 is not like nothing but clusters like number of clusters we formed earlier and also uh, wcs is nothing but we already uh, we already do this right wcs is nothing but that's that the value that that uh, that is at, assigned to it so uh, plot dot title the elbow gra elbow point graph will appear here and plot plot dot x label x label means number of clusters here and plot dot y label is equals to wcss and plot dot show will give the sh will show the graph so this is a elbow point graph and also and also here optimum number of clusters is 5 because here see the graph is 
slowing down and sudden change and slowing down and sudden change and there is no sudden change where uh, there is no sudden change after phi so here phi in, in up here c phi phi is a minimal optimum optimum number of clusters so we have to the we have to cluster the data into phi groups so phi clusters with a similar one so we have to plot it so um we have to know which data should be belong to which one so here see we can we can see this this is this is a 200 rows 200 data points are there for us means like uh, 200 cross 2 is a dimension of that feature vector okay let us assume and also we have to e select each data cluster belongs to what okay so so for what this we have to do is k means like training the k means here training will be happening here training the k means clustering model so k means is equals to k means uh, n cluster is equals to phi like saying anything uh, okay uh, n cluster is equal to phi initial k min p plus plus like i plus plus we did that right and also random state is zero so random state can be anything like random state can be 0 to 100 or anything you put I put 0 you put 50 or else something what you want as your wish and also mm, and also here y is equals to k means fit dot predict means it will predict it will predict it will predict the data means it will predict this data belongs to 0 like zero cluster, one cluster, two second cluster, third cluster, fourth cluster. We label that zero, one, two, three, four. Okay, these are the five clusters. And also, uh, like C, this uh, first one, four. This this oh, okay. C here. Okay, okay, okay. This C. These are seventy six comma seventy six comma forty. Uh, suppose see this seventy six comma fifty six. We I think you are visible. I'm uh, in, okay. This visible sixty six sixty seven comma fifty six is these belong to which one? Here fourth cluster. It's saying that. So all those things. These are cluster this is a predicted one okay like four three two one zero like all those things belongs to that so we get the data and we cluster but we want in a plot format so to visualize the data so means the data will be understand like visualizing the point so they can we can can easily understand the data uh, like that like that so uh, five clusters zero one two three four five so we have to we have to describe that clusters that is a, like zeroth cluster is in green and also uh, and also first cluster is red and second cluster is uh, yellow third cluster is violet and fourth cluster is blue so whatever you color you want you can here see label a cluster one cluster two cluster three cluster four cluster five and also these like uh, this is a scatter plot so i will show the scatter plot here uh, like scatter plot scatter plotter in a thing but you can see here so okay here see scatter plot means the plot which is uh, divided by line this like this is a one cluster this is one cluster this is one cluster all those things like that was an example of scatter plot okay so uh, and also we have to scatter plot this is so see here this is a row column row column so this is a for x axis this is for y axis okay so here see uh, i will show you one thing here zero zero and zero zero and one 
so this is represents uh, uh, this is a x x x label so sorry x axis this is an y axis uh, and also in the in this it is it is like saying that this is a zeroth row like uh, zeroth uh, row and zeroth column so like this this is a scatter plot and also these size and sizes as far size that is 50 you can you can plot anything like 50 100 or anything that you want and also here I will show you one thing so like plot the centroids we have to plot the cent centroids is nothing but this is a centroid uh, like this yellow sorry this blue one centroid is nothing but the center of that cluster means from the center of cluster all the data points that will be having this similar similar of same uh, distance so we have to choose that centroids so centroids is uh, will be uh, like k means clusters 1 comma 0 sorry 0 and k means cluster 0 comma 1 so i will show you what is that means so here see like this is a centroid right this is a centroid and this corresponding x value and this corresponding y value and this corresponding x value and this corresponding y value so that is an uh, like what is called this is a row and this is a column and the size is 100 means the size can be anything and c is equal to cyan so color is a cyan cyan color is a centroid one and with labels as a centroid and also we have to plot the graph we have to plot this uh, this one right plot the title customer groups and plot our x label annual income annual income versus spending score this is a spending score and this is an annual income we are plotting it so by this we are saying that uh, let me let me as analyze the thing uh, i will show i will uh, show you one thing here see annual income is low here for this blue annual income is low but and also spending score is also low here see annual income is low but the spending is high means they are spending high they are spending high they are spending high amount where they have low annual income and here see these are the, these are the one that spending mi middle uh, like middle range income and spending middle range score and also this here we can see this uh, they are spending they are uh, earning high means they are, they are earning high and they are spending low so they are saving means and also here see uh, they are they are, they are earning high and spending is also high so based on these customers for the green customers the the shopkeepers or the business persons will give discounts or else uh, they give offers they give offers that, are, that will increase the sale and also here for them for here see we, uh, we have uh, for these persons they give a membership cards and flat 50% off 75% off that they can they can spend more money okay by this means we have by this project we have successfully clustered clustered the data points based on the uh, based on spending pattern uh, annual income and spending score with using k means clustering algorithms so uh, so here we can uh, I have a references like a customer segmentation using k-means clustering with python 2018 ieee paper this is an ieee paper i refer those and this is a like here we can see this is a link this is a link of that uh, uh, ieee paper and also this is a co google collaborator link that i have uh, made uh, i will give as a reference one and also this is the kaggle link Kaggle link for data set we can, it will be available uh, in the Kaggle so I will give in this uh, link 
for the reference purpose and also this is a youtube reference link for reference link uh, so uh, this link will be give an overall idea just uh, just an overall idea uh, what is a k means clustering and also what is a machine learning project how to do it so this will give so uh, last not last but not least i will i would like to thank uh, you for uh, patient uh, for listening uh, patiently so uh, this is a uh, punachinda signing off bye